This playthrough is rated T for teen. It's time for this ship to sail. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're here with the finale of Resident Evil Gaiden. In the last episode, we were st we found Barry again, but then apparently Barry was working with Umbrella. Then Leon got trapped on the ship, and then uh, Barry go Trixies, and the Umbrella Corporation actually got us a sub because he was playing with them. I guess because of what happened in the previous game. Yeah, I know they repeated what happened in the first game, but we knew Barry wasn't like that. But uh, Umbrella apparently didn't. But anyway, we gotta get back to the ship. And to save Leon and get out of here, so with Lucy in tow. But uh, can we do it? Well, let's find out. Yeah, there's zombies in here, but we can just ignore them by just clicking the interact button here. So that's that's it. I think I figured out these controls. I've got the sub headed back towards the starlight. I'll bet Leon will be happy to see us if he doesn't shoot me first. By the way, I'm sorry for treating you so rough back there. There's no need to apologize. I don't know how to explain it, but what you were doing is it somehow felt right. It's more likely because I have a daughter about your age. Oh. Hey, I've got an idea. If we ever get out of this mess, why don't you come and live with us? That is, if you don't have m mind having a sister. Oh, Barry, that'd be wonderful. I think so, too. Now we're near the Starlight. Let's go find Leon. Barry and Lucia prepare to board the Starlight. The ship's barely floating. We don't have much time. Let's go find, let's find Leon and get out of here. Suddenly, the B.O.W. bursts from the hatch onto the sub's deck. Barry! Man, not again. Before Barry can get a shot, the creature, in, in a sudden burst of speed, dives towards the side of the starlight and disappears. And it's bad enough that the ship is about to sink. Now I've got to watch out for that thing, too. Let's head to the ship's engine room and see if we can find Leon. Anyway, we find ourselves back at the, uh, whoops, keep pressing the wrong button. Back at the upper deck, so we need to head back to the boiler room. But we can't go the normal way because there's a fire everywhere, but I'll show off what that is here in a second. Um, but yeah, yeah, they try to, oh, for those who, yeah, since this game isn't considered canon, obviously Lucia obviously disappears from the canon, but weirdly enough, they bring back this kind of same storyline mentality for, um, uh, Revelations 2, interestingly enough. Um, yeah, I've gotten a little bit better of avoiding them. I noticed that they, well, not so much the pattern, but I noticed that if they, you have to like wait till they stop moving. If they stop moving, then it gives you just a few seconds to, uh, um, you have to activate them. Yeah, a few seconds, and then you can move around them. So, obviously, some areas I won't be able to do that on, but... And after this incident, a lot of new enemies have appeared or respawned, or if you killed some, they're being respawned, or some enemies have been replaced, depending on the creature. Wow, that guy, that guy was super aggressive. Yeah, some enemies will just chase you forever and ever, it seems like. Anyway, yeah, a bunch of red dress zombies here, uh, appeared. But yeah, let's go to the boiler room, right? No, Nothing's going to stop us now. Dang it. Yeah, there's fires everywhere, so now we have to go around. Uh, let's see if I can get around this lady. <sighs> okay. All right. Now we got a couple of zombies here. Now this one can be a bit dangerous because let me see if I can. Uh, because uh, after you activate this guy, like a bunch of zombies appear, so I have to be kind of careful. Whoa! Dang it. Uh, before, like, uh, like four or five zombies will appear out of nowhere, like when you activate that one guy. So that's why I ran backwards. But luckily, this guy isn't attacking me. So, Let's see if I can get that guy to activate. I've actually been able to run around this guy before, but nah. Oh well. Yeah, when I was play testing it, I actually was able to get around him. But oh well, not a big deal. I mean, I'm not getting hurt by this guy because of how slow he is. So. But yeah, like uh, when I was playtesting it, like four or five zombies. Oh, let's see if this guy actually drops anything. Oh no. <laughs> oh, maybe they maybe it changes the zombie who when uh, a bunch of zombies appear out of nowhere because these guys are new. Actually, I could probably ignore him because uh, most of the zombies I've noticed drop are dropping health packs more than um, more than uh, ammo. I've noticed. But anyway, yeah, going up here. Yeah, yeah, we're just basically taking the top route to the boiler. We're basically going back the way we did at the very beginning of the game. Very appropriate. How apropos. Yeah, most of these guys don't drop anything. Or, like I said, if they do, they drop healing. Let's see if I can get around this guy. Because the bottom way is a little bit more... Got more zombies in it. Nope. Oh, well. It is possible to get around that guy, too, but... Eh. Okay, he might actually do some damage to me. We'll see what happens, though. Yeah, you got... Oh, well. And this guy, I believe, just has a heal, too, so... It's kind of weird wasting. Come on, I know I can get around you. I've got, I've done it before. Haha. 
Actually, if you, if you do it right, that guy will ch can chase you quite a while if you know what you're doing. I mean, I don't know why you'd want a guy to chase you the whole time, but hey. Alright. Yeah, this, I don't know if you guys remember this from a couple hours ago. I think it was maybe a couple hours ago, maybe less in the game, so. Let's see, got him going. Oh, ah, dang it. Yeah, I should have. Ah, oh, no! Dang it. Ow! Boo! Yeah, there goes my good luck, I guess. Luckily, only one, one zombie can attack you at a time, so you can't get, like, bum rush. But, I mean, you can get bum rush, but what I mean is, like, they won't damage, like, three or four of them won't damage you at a time. You know what I mean? So, oh well. I have enough handgun ammo, so I can afford to. Uh, that guy drops health as well, so we're going to ignore that. And, yeah, we're almost there. Might, might go ahead and heal just, just in case. Let's, yeah, let's use a green herb since we got a billion of those, so. Yeah, back the way we came here, way at the beginning of the game, so. Yeah, this guy actually has ammo, though, so. It's actually worth fighting this guy. And luckily, it takes forever for him to get to you, so. Alright, yep, use shotgun shells. Alright, now let's switch to a decent weapon here. Let's switch to a assault rifle, since we've got the most ammo for that anyway, so. Because. Oh, there's Leon. Oh, no. Leon, you're alive. You came back. Why are you looking at, what is that with that scowl? Oh, wait, because of what happened. What did you expect? Now, come on, let's get out of here. Harry, I don't think that's Leon. What? I mean what I said. I don't think that's Leon. What the? Ah, run! But we actually have to fight that guy, but it's kind of funny how we can actually avoid him for a hot second, so. Okay, I want to get him up here. Not so much that I can avoid him. I mean, is maybe po it might be possible to actually avoid him, but I really just want to get to where I can actually run around him when I actually push him back, because, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing the same push him back type of thing. We can't actually kill him yet, so there we go. Yeah, this is just to stun him for a second so I can actually go around him. Because if not, you might accidentally, like, get hit by him again. And, yeah, I hit, that would make you waste all this ammo, so. Luckily, you can't get up to here, so. As Barry and Lucia enter the engine room, they, they see Leon sitting on the floor. Barry... Hold it right there, Leon, if you are Leon. What? First you leave me behind on the sinking ship, and now you're trying to order me around? I ought to ring you. What is this, like, 1990s children's cartoon writing? It is you. Chill out, man. I can explain. Oh no, what was that? Sounds like the hull just exploded. The ship's flooding. Leon, we haven't got time to argue. We've got to make it back to the submarine. Okay, and yeah, we can just... Make it straight back. We don't even have to go into that room or anything. Anyway, yeah, save. I think this is actually the final save of the game, actually. So, yeah, save it there. Ooh, guy's got something, possibly. He might just have health again. Oh, well, let's find out. Aw, what? That's not fair. The guy who's attacking me is the guy on the other side of the screen. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Luckily, it takes a hot minute for him to get there anyway. Aw, any... What? The other guy didn't even hit me. Oh. Well, at least we got some shotgun shells, I guess, for the final push. Yeah, for whatever reason, the tyrant disappears <laughs> at this point, so. I want to go ahead and heal myself again, I guess? Yeah. Might as well. Hold on. Before I do that, might as well. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, she's the only one I haven't quit with armor, even though I never use Lucia. I know the reason to switch between them is to divvy out the HP damage. You know, but I'm just like, pff, let's just have this one character get hit. Anyway, yeah, we got new enemies here, and uh, we have to... The thing is, now there's a... Well, I'll show it off here in a second, so... Eh, yeah, I guess I'll shotgun him since you're so close. I don't want the other guy to... I don't want to get attacked by... Ah, oh, no, three guys up here. Dang it. Oh, well, luckily we got shotgun ammo to make up for that, so... Oh, it's just regular zombies. Never mind. I thought they were the cro crowbar-wielding ones. You can actually avoid those guys, too, but like I said, I'm getting a... Even though I know their patterns and everything like that, I've been getting a bit unlucky with their... Um, yeah, there's a fire there now, so we can't go that way. So we have to go... Um, oh, I guess I should show where we're going. We have to go to, yeah, the side deck there where the thing is, but it's not going to be made easy. No sir, re Bob. And some of these guys, I think I'm just going to fight just because um, it's almost impossible to avoid the, uh, like a lot of these guys. So, And we'll probably be using up the rest of my 
weak ammo like handguns and stuff like that because at this point we're going to need to fight Tyra we're going to need our um, uh, strongest weapons mainly to push him back push him back push him back way back and I'm saving my best ammo for you know the finale as always I might be able to get past this version there we go nice and yeah, we have to go, um, easiest way is to just go straight through, we have to actually go through a bunch of uh, rooms, we can't just go straight into the, we can't go onto that deck area, if that makes sense, so. And yeah, we got a bunch of, uh, um, red dress zombies, or whatever you want to call them. Hmm. Yeah, kind of messed up there. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, trying to conserve ammo. Yeah. I wonder if we can get her move one more time. That way we can get her into like stun position or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what I don't know what you really call that. I'm just making up terms just to make sense of like their movement. Yeah, quit screeching at me, lady. I'm not taking you on a date. I'm not into that. I'm not into dead ladies. There we go. Yeah, it looks like we're almost out of handgun bullets, so. Yeah, the, the zombies change again from the red dressed zombies to the blue zombies, or whatever you want to call them, so. Would you even have anything worth it? Probably not. Yeah, let's see what you've got. I think it's more healing, if I recall, but I'll check anyway. Oops. Dang it, I hate when that happens, when they clearly die. So, okay, more handgun bullets, why not? Uh, let's see. I'll need it for this zombie that's in this room. Yep, see. <laughs> Not much I can do about that zombie, but... But we have just enough handgun bullets to take care of these weaker guys, so... Alright. Yeah, we're almost there, so we have to go through... Uh, this one we'll go down, because if we go... If we went down uh, through the Grand Hall, that would have been on fire. So we would have had to... Uh, if I can avoid that guy. Avoid the Noid. Alright, almost there. So close. Yeah, luckily it's just a bunch of regular zombies, but I might have to fight them because... Just because of how bundled they are up. I mean, I might be able to get away from them, but... I'm trying to... Nah, dang it. Oh well. Actually, probably could have used the... Uh... Um, probably gives you use the knife on him to save some ammo, but but that's fine. All right, now yeah, this door right here. This is where Barry and us separated before. However, there's gonna be someone new here from before. Yeah, I'll just go and heal. Why not the um. Yeah, let's switch to let's switch to you because we want to push again. We need to push him. Actually, I don't know. The shotgun might work actually. Okay, but yeah, we gotta. Yeah, there's the there's the uh, dude over there. So it's kind of funny how we can just avoid him, and go up here. Well, we can't actually avoid him. I'm just saying for fun. Yeah, see, we have to fight him. So I'm gonna see if the shotgun's enough to push him back. Ooh. Oh, did he poison me? Oh, I think he poisoned me, actually. Alright, where's the blue? There. I forgot he could actually poison you. Yeah, we're just pushing him back again, basically. Ah, I have to switch to the assault rifle. It's not strong enough. Oh, he poisoned me again. What the heck, man? Luckily, the assault rifle does a decent amount of damage. There we go. All right. Ooh, oh, and he disappeared. Haha. -ha. All right. Now we got to prepare ourselves for the final, final bit. I'll, I will use the rocket ammo. I just want to. Uh... Suddenly, out of the darkness, the creature lunges, grabbing Lucia and pulling her into the sea. I don't believe this. Leon, wait here. I'm going in after her. 
Leon waits for Barry to surface. Pulling Lucia from the ocean, they both make it onto the deck of the ship. Take it easy, girl. You're gonna be all right. That's it. Deep breaths. Oh, geez, not again. Eerily standing behind Barry and Lucia is another Lucia. What's going on? I'm Lucia. Don't believe her. I'm Lucia. Don't either of you move a muscle. She's lying. I'm the real Lucia, Barry. Look at this. Lucia nicks her hand with a knife and oozes red blood. Ouch. Good thinking, Lucia. I don't believe it. It's turning into another creature. Anyway, for the finale. Against... Tyrant 3. Oh, God. Ah, crap, I'm not doing very good. Now, oh, better heal again with the purple herb. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I didn't even get to use the rocket launcher. Let's get out of here while we've got the chance. Move it. Barry, Leon, and Lucina finally make it to the deck of the sub. Look, the starlight. She's going under. The three look out as the starlight tilts upright and prepares to sink into the freezing cold, watery depths. Whew, looks like we finally made it. Yeah, looks like we're going home, Lucia. Oh, Barry, you don't know what this means to me. Your hand, it's cut and it's not healing. You're right, and my ears aren't ringing anymore. That means I've lost my powers. I'm normal. Hey guys, I'm getting through to the head I'm getting through to headquarters. HQ, this is Leon. Mission mission accomplished. We're heading home. Dun 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 Question mark. Anyway, that's the end of Resident Evil Gaiden. Yeah, who knows what uh apparently shouldn't even call me worked on this or as an advisor, which all that meant is they just asked him some questions. But yeah, Leon possibly is the is the creature and that that's just how the game ends so maybe leon is doing whatever he's doing he was never here in the first place it's hard to say whatever so yeah it's typical uh it's typical horror movie ending where you're not sure if you actually killed the villain or or it sets up for a sequel which obviously never occurs like i said this was a one and done and they never they did more mobile versions but they just did mobile re or they did the revelations first on ds and then they released it on the ps3 and then re-released it again recently not too like a few years ago but yeah, idea uh, that Resident Evil hasn't really had a good good sense when it came to uh, their handhelds. Although, like I said, a lot of people did like Revelations on the handheld, at least the first one, anyway. So um, overall, I like this game weirdly enough, despite everything that's wrong with it. Like you know the the repeating music and the glitchiness with the sound effects with the uh, the thing. But I don't know, just it's a nice little short little you know horror element, something different and they had to do what they had to do to make it work because Resident Evil couldn't have worked in the original idea and obviously the original idea was to play make the original game on the handheld which it was way too big they had to like make a a weird spin-off and give a Barry some time to shine despite them not being making this game canon which they eventually get Barry a time to shine if you play Revelations 2 he's a main character in that one so that was nice um, and they repeat kind of the whole girl uh, uh, getting a, um, a helping another little girl they repeat that in the second game it's not really spoilers really um but yeah like even as weird the music is i kind of i feel like it kind of works for what the tone they were going for and the gameplay is not really that hard it's pretty easy to get used to after a while and uh, you can figure out how to avoid the zombies and usually a decent amount of ammo over the place and ways to survive and the respawning zombies makes it dangerous and not easy to just go through the area and you know and knowing when to when and the game giving you telling you when an enemy has something is really nice too so that way you're like oh okay i should kill this guy while i avoid the others so i don't know i think it's a fun little game despite its issues um i know people won't like it and i completely understand it but uh yeah thanks for playing and i thank you all for joining me on this little short little adventure so um and i hope you enjoy the rest of your halloween so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next game